Hey everybody, we're back on CSGO and today we're going to be going through the pick'em for the champion stage. So this video is going to have two parts. The first part is talking about what happened in the legend stage and then we're going to actually make the pick'em. So anyway, let's go talk about what happened in the challenger stage. Uh, so I, spoiler, I did get more than five correct and I watched it. Let's redeem a souvenir. Alright everybody, so I think I'm going to redeem my souvenir uh, from Nuke. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get this one, and if it's a bad choice, whatever. Alright, let's see. Who is this? Uh, by Justin Savage. Aw. Oh. Dang, it's a Renegades player. <laughs> Alright, guys, so let's go through the Legend stage quickly. Here's my Challenger stage. Uh, if you want to see what's up with that, you can watch the last CSGO video. Now, the Group stage. And then, obviously, we're going to do our Champions in a little bit. Let's talk about what happened. My picks, once again, were almost perfect literally almost perfect so 3-0 pick i picked astralis that was fairly obvious i mean everyone kind of knew astralis was gonna go and the second team that was gonna go through is the second best team in the world liquid so yeah um pretty easy liquid or astralis number one number two teams in the world everyone probably should have got that now i know a lot of people played the safe route and put Astralis at the bottom so they could for sure get the point and put like a wild card in the 3-0 um but in the end that actually hurt a lot of people and so instead of getting seven points they got six instead but I guess it doesn't matter so Astralis pretty easy complexity 0-3 like 90% of people put it as 0-3 uh kind of sucks that it didn't come out they probably should have went out 0-3 but there was a massive massive disappointment from NRG which you could see at the bottom there they did not make it through so they went three and zero almost looking unstoppable challenger stage you're like well they're gonna at least make it through the group stage nope they went zero and three they lost against complexity at zero two you're at zero and two all you need to do is beat complexity to stay in and you can't even do that that sucked anyway so complexity zero and three they ended up going two and three so they made it two two because they beat NRG, and then they beat somebody else i think maybe they won either way they won a couple matches one of them was against NRG. they shouldn't have won at all basically the only reason they didn't go zero and three is because they beat NRG. And NRG should not be losing 0-3 in a group stage. Dude, it's NRG. They went. They were, I think, second best or first seed. There isn't actually much to talk about, basically. Liquid, number one, two in the team of the world. They went through MIBR. Um, they recently just got their uh, Brazilian roster back. They were legends back in the day. So everyone was kind of like, well, they're, they, they're at least going to make it through groups. They sure did. Navi, everyone didn't really know because they haven't really played before the major much, so people didn't know how they were. Um, in the video, I said they were a glass cannon. They either go off or they don't. Well, they ended up going off pretty well. Uh, Edward, he's nuts. Zeus, he finally did his part. Flamey, probably the best performer. Flamey went nuts. So, and Simple is always a rock that you can't really get past. So, Navi, pretty good. They did their job. They got through. Phase, I am so glad they made it through but barely barely they went they, i don't know if they, i think they went zero win two so they were one game away from elimination and then they won three games straight to make it i forgot who they beat i think they beat they beat cloud nine and then in their last game yeah their last game was against cloud nine in their 2-2 game and they ended up beating cloud nine but Mm, I want to say barely, but yeah, they they didn't. It wasn't a strong showing. So the fact that Phase made it through is great. But I can tell you this: once we get to our champion stage, Phase ain't making it far. Phase had a worse showing than Renegades or MIBR, and Phase has like Guardian, Olaf, Nico. The fact that they're not doing good is just astounds me. But anyway, so close call, but we made it. NRG, we already talked about that massive disappointment. Come on, dudes. Like, are you serious? Renegades, 
another one of those teams that um, everyone was kind of like, well, they did great in the Challengers, so we never know. Actually, they did amazing in the Challengers. It was basically, that's what sucks. It was NRG, Renegades, and Ents that did amazing in the Challengers. And everyone's like, well, one of these teams is bound not to show up. So in my opinion, it was either Renegades or Ents that wasn't going to show up. And NRG was basically like, dude, it's NRG. They're not going to mess up. It's literally the exact opposite. NRG failed, and Renegades did amazing. Renegades did really well. They went 2-0, and zero, and then for their 2-0 match, they faced against Astralis, and it's Astralis, dude. Number one team in the world. Of course, they lost, but they made it back the next game. Easy. Renegades did amazing. Ents, not so well. They made it through, unlike NRG, but they did end up going... Um, like a pretty not very I think they went zero and one and they won a game and then they went zero and two and then they won their next two to win. Something like that. I know they didn't do very well. They made it through, but uh not very convincingly. So overall, basically everything was right here. Complexity should have lost to NRG, but NRG just soiled themselves. I don't know what happened there. Astralis is right, liquid, MIBR, Navi, phase, and renegades ends. All good. So, basically, energy is replaced by nip, which was also, in the last video, I clearly stated, if you're going to change anything, switch out Ents and nip. And it was technically a good thing I didn't, but it wouldn't have really mattered. I would have got a point either way. Uh, but yeah, so everything was right, except nip should be replaced by energy. Yeah. Champion stage. So, if you skipped right to this part, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly astralis versus nip this is probably the easiest one of course it's going to be astralis guys like nip is nice but this is astralis uh-uh this is probably the hardest one in my opinion mibr versus renegades mibr new brazilian squad they're pretty good but renegades oh boy it's the renegades they've been doing they've been smashing through this place Right alongside Astralis. So, um... This one's hard. But... I'm gonna go with Renegades. I, I don't know about that. But I'm gonna go with Renegades. And then Ents versus Liquid. Easy Liquid. Ents barely made it through. And Navi versus Face Clan. I told you Face Clan barely made it. And Navi had a pretty good showing. Now, Navi also has a consistent streak of failure and disappointment but i'm gonna give it to them i believe navi is going to win this one and then after i guess we'll go back astralis renegades astralis and renegades actually faced in the 2-0 match and astralis beat them not very convincingly they beat them but in the interviews astralis did say that they were sick at the time so that means if they weren't sick, they would have outright smashed them. So I'm going to go say, go ahead and say, Astralis will beat Renegades. It's not going to be a smash. It's going to be close. But Astralis will take it through. Navi versus Liquid. Liquid is the number one, number two team in the world. They're going to do it. Navi is good. But Navi is very inconsistent. Especially with Edward and Zeus. You never know if these two are ever going to actually frag. They ended up doing it this time to get here. But you never know. So now we got Astralis Liquid. And I think for the most part, this is number one, number two team in the world. It's kind of, you never know. And I hate being the guy that's just like, this is 100%. You should always pick Astralis because Astralis is consistent. They're number one best. It's their era. But I mean, there's not much to say. Like Astralis is downright the best. They've got the best players. They've got the best in-game leader. They've got the best tactics. They've got the best mentality. They don't choke. They don't give up. They've got a great map pool. They work together. Liquid is very great. They got amazing players. They've got amazing individual talent. They've got good strats. But not as rock solid as Astralis. So I, I honestly, look. If you're looking at my heart, I want Team Liquid to win. I 
I do. I don't. I personally don't like it when one team wins like six straight. That's what happened with the SKT and League of Legends, and that was boring. No, nobody was like, "Yay, SKT won!" Like, uh, S SKT won again, guys. Uh huh. They're so good. So I'm really not a big fan of Astralis winning like all the majors nowadays. But hey, if we're talking about the pick, I'm trying to get that diamond coin. So I'm gonna have to pick Astralis, and those are my picks. So if you skip to this part of the video from the beginning, these are my picks. Astralis, best team in the world. They're going to go through. Renegades is definitely going to make a showing. Liquid is definitely going to make a showing. And Navi, I think, is going to just barely lose to Liquid. So these are my picks. Um, hopefully, you guys follow them. Hopefully, you guys learned a little something. I really hope these are right. The biggest thing that scares me is Astralis screwing up. Because if anyone else screws up, that's fine. But if Astralis screws up, everyone's pick comes are destroyed. Because... It's you're you're only one one of two people. You're either seeing Astralis go all the way, or you're seeing Liquid go all the way. And technically, there's a third type of person. Those that want Renegades to go through all the way, but we're not gonna talk about those. Probably gonna get disliked for that. That's fine. So guys, those are my pickums. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.